Hello! Well, as most of you probably know by now, I'm always looking to get a deal. So when Van Koyo reached out to me and said, hey, we have this 10 inch tablet that's an Amazon's choice, and guess what? It's under $100. So with all that being said, they really piqued my interest, and I just had to feature it here on the channel. So without further ado, we have the Van Koyo Matrix Pad Z4. What's up, handsome people? If you're like me and you have a limited income, but you love expensive gadgets, you've come to the right place. On this channel, we focus on getting the best gadgets for the least amount of cash. So if you're new here, subscribe now. And hey, don't be shy. Feel free to check out the links in the description below anytime during the video. So let's see if this is 10 inches of fun or you should check out another one. So a huge shout out to Vancoyo for sending me this product. I'm not being paid for this whatsoever. These companies just send me products so I can feature them here on this channel. And of course, no shenanigans. All things that are said are my opinion and my opinion alone. So here we have a look at the box. We have Matrix Pad Z4. It's an Android tablet, of course. Company name and a picture of the device. On the back here, we got some descriptives. It's a 10.1 inch IPS screen technology. Got front and rear cameras, quad core 64 bit CPU. So it's running Android, of course, and it's got a solid eMMC ROM. It says it's fast and responsive with an IPS screen, but I will demonstrate that later. It's equipped with HD cameras for video calls and selfies. A massive selection of apps from the Google Play Store. Powerful hardware and a slim design. And down here is what you get in the box. So let me show you that. So you get this quick start guide and inside you have pictures in here of how to turn it on, charge it and all that good stuff. Just in case you're not aware of how to do that. You also get the user guide with all the nifty tips and tricks that this tablet offers. And you'll get this mystery box. So let's open it up and find out what you get inside. So they do provide you with the power brick. The output range of this is gonna be five volts and of course USB-A at the top. Along with that power brick, you'll get your charging cable. And the cable that you get is about a foot in length. So there is one more thing that comes in the box and now is the time to check it out. So once again, my friends, here is the $100 10.1 inch Android Precious Pi 9.0 tablet. Front and center, we have our front facing camera. On the top of the tablet is where you're gonna find the power button and our volume rocker. Going down just a bit, you'll find the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Here's a slot for our micro SD card. And there's our charging port. Going on to the back side is where you're gonna find the rear camera with the flash. We got the company's logo right there. And we have our right channel speaker and our left channel speaker. They are stereo and sound, but as you can see, they are placed away from you. So you're gonna have a hard time hearing things even at max volume. And here's a look at the display at max brightness with its default background. So one thing I'm gonna mention before we get into the video test is the Wi-Fi connection. Now, I found this kind of strange, but this tablet is only able to pick up the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. It won't pick up the five gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Now, I don't know if that's because they left out that band to cut costs somewhere. I mean, this is, like I said, $100. So you're not gonna get all the bells and whistles. So make sure to keep that in mind as we go through some additional tests. So I'm not gonna speed this up or slow it down. This is exactly how the tablet responds in real time. So let's check out some YouTube. Let's go to my channel. Here we go. And let's open that up. Let's watch the last video. Hello. So it's been a while since I've actually reviewed some over the ear headphones. Recently, let's make sure it's at max volume. Yep. That's max volume, guys. So the vocals are fine, but definitely with the speakers being on the back, 
even at max volume, it's not the greatest. And of course, the screen is definitely not as responsive as I as as I'm used to. But once again, people, 100 bucks. So let's see. Maybe let's check out some. All right, let's check out some Netflix. Let's play an episode of The Office. So, I mean, screen quality, it's not that bad. The colors come in well, uh, it comes in relatively clear. So for viewing content, it's really not that bad. Hey, look at me, I'm a baby. I'm one of those babies from Look Who's Talking. What am I thinking? <laughs> look at all those staplers. What's a stapler? I don't even know, I'm a baby. So when you go home, Android Pie minimizes this so you can go along your business and you can still watch your content. So let's check out the camera. So here's my backdrop marquee. Let's take a picture of this. I mean, I don't expect to use this for a camera, but it's there if you need it to be. Another nice feature of the skin is, I mean, the fact that the volume locker is all the way up here, it sometimes can be hard to reach, especially when you're holding this in your hands. The volume buttons are down here on the screen as well. So I know this review was kind of short and sweet, but really that's about all I have to say about this tablet. But I really see people that pick up this tablet to just utilize it to consume content. It's got a big enough screen, and if you got a good pair of headphones, you'll be set. But if you have any other questions about this tablet, don't hesitate, just leave a comment down below and I'll definitely get back to you as soon as I can. So if you're ready to buy or would like more information on the Van Koyo Matrix Pad Z4, leave a comment down below or click the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to make sure you're in a loop for all things handsome gadgets. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and I guess a thumbs down if you didn't care for it. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at handsomegadgets Thank you and have a good one.